Hi, I'm Emma and welcome back to Exchange TV. Yesterday we all had a free day, so we went down to the beach and took part in a sandcastle challenge. Here's what happened. How's your castle going? Oh, it's going really well. We have, uh, we're made Hogwarts and we have the, uh, the Quidditch pitch. Uh -huh. And we have the Forbidden Forest with Aragog. Well, this is a hill and uh, on the hill is going to be a castle. It's going to be really nice. Yeah! It feels amazing! So good, I'm so happy. We put so much effort into so much effort. It was such a hard few hours of my life. A big well done to the Hogwarts team and everyone else who took part. After such a relaxing day, we were treated to a performance of Mr. Right by the fantastic Rob Drummond and it even starred our very own Johnny. Basically what happens is we get an audience member up on stage and we talk to them and we chat with them and the audience gets a chance to ask them questions, we find out about their life. So you can look that up for us. Um, Johnny, what do you do again? You're a performer. Yeah. We find out about what they like and what they don't like, their passions, their dreams, their hopes. And out of this, um, I write all the answers on the stage, which is a blank canvas to begin with. And then at the end of the sort of 45 minutes, um, I create a little mini play using what they've told me. Uh, somebody's writing something about you and your life behind you and um, people are laughing and you don't know what's being written. It's quite, it's quite unsettling. He was interacting a lot with the audience um, and he was making funny jokes. I would be scared of that dog. <laughs> If someone said something while he was talking, he took it in and didn't just go, oh, I have to get on track with this. It was really nice, that. I don't mind at all. You can take phone calls or anything you want, um, as long as you let me in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was good fun. I really enjoyed it. Not only did we have a free day yesterday, but so did our good friend Colin. So why don't we see what he got up to? Hi, I'm Colin, and this is my guide, St Andrews. Last week, this church here, this fine church, was burnt down during the Great Fire of St Andrews. But as we can see, this does not stop the service being held every week, come rain or shine. So, in a very real sense, it is God bless America. Here, we are outside the first underground rail system. Sadly, it is no longer in use and has been replaced by a shoe shop. Famous for being the forefront of cultural and engineering intuition, St Andrews here was to be the first of constructing a human dominoes. I'm here outside the famous University of St Andrews. It is a common misconception that Prince William studied here, where in fact he studied there. In 1746, the mayor of St Andrews, Sir Richard Tesco, invented one of the greatest feats of humankind. The sea. And as we can see, it is still standing here today. Hi, I'm Colin, 
That was my guide to St Andrews, and I think I have shown you the cream of what this place has to offer. Why do we even have him? It's rubbish every day. Thanks, Colin. Um, before we go, don't forget, we're on YouTube at NTS Exchange TV, and you can find and download our podcasts on iTunes. That's all from us tonight. We'll see you tomorrow.